Well, right now, an emission-free turbine is churning under the waters of the East River in New York City, bringing power to some nearby businesses. Now, the East River has not been known to be a source of renewable energy, but as Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan reports, a Virginia company wants to change that one hydrokinetic turbine at a time. In this little shed along New York's East River is a big idea. Verdant Power says they may have the next wave in renewable energy. Six turbines have been placed on the river floor, turning the water's current into electric current. Burden power pilot is exactly that. It's a pilot. It's the first of its kind of these free flow turbines that can move to generate electricity, the first in the world. So first of all, we're, we're learning about how this particular technology works. But many of the world's major cities are actually on rivers and on estuaries and on other forms of, of bodies of water that can perhaps be used to create electricity. Think of them as underwater windmills. They've been powering this New York City grocery store and this parking garage. The pilot program is teaching Verdant about hydrokinetic energy and about the power of the East River, which has a current that is so strong it broke one of the turbines. That's because the East River isn't actually a river, it's an oceanic estuary. Meaning just like the tides, this river's current is constant and predictable. We can predict within a very high degree of accuracy how much power we're going to be producing tomorrow, three weeks from now, 10 years from now, 100 years out, by simply looking at tidal charts. Verdant Power sees an aquatic farm of turbines, providing enough energy to help supplement the grid during peak times. Now, even if the bed of the East River was covered in turbines, it still would only generate a fraction of the energy that a large power plant like this one provides. And it's not for every river. The waterways that separate Brooklyn and Queens from Manhattan are extremely fast, and there are only a few waterways in the U.S. that could generate enough power. Verdant's next project is to put the turbines in the bed of the St. Lawrence River in Canada. They expect to be making commercial electricity by the year 2013. Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News. Well, Verdant right now is conducting all of these tests in very populated areas, but it is hoping to perfect its underwater turbine technology so that it can achieve its real goal, which is providing power to developing nations.